So from where we sit at Lead at Africa, when we talk about mindset, we have a model called R3G, okay? okay. And basically the R stands for resourcefulness, yep. and we have three Gs in there. The first one is goodness, okay? So are you trying to be a Jesus Christ or a Hitler or Satan or whatever it is? And, and from the stories I've heard, I believe Satan is a very influential leader. Yeah. Okay. If those stories are true, then the guy is a damn good leader. Okay. Yet from where we sit, we have reason to say we like what one of these leaders is doing and probably not what the other one is doing. Okay, so that's the first G that we talk about. So it's, we call it goodness. Our second G is growth mindset, and it's a whole uh, suitcase we have to unpack to see the elements in there. And the last one is grit. So goodness, growth mindset, and grit. With resourcefulness sitting on top, and that is the, the, the model we have for mindset. So at any given time, if you want to check what is happening uh, with you in any situation, yeah. want to do an assessment of your mindset, you can use these elements yeah. and judge which, which of the elements do you have strong and which ones probably is lacking and what can you do to get it to be strong. Okay. Yeah. So in that bit, when we talk about resourcefulness, mm -hmm. the way we define resourcefulness is simply to say, Given any situation and the goals we have, one, we commit to work with what we have. Okay. That's one, okay? And in doing so, then we focus on getting a solution rather than complaining about what we don't have. And in a lot of situations, we find ourselves talking about the reasons why we could not do X, Y, Z. It's because we don't have A, B, C. And when we find ourselves having this sort of dialogue with ourselves, we, 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 we try to pause to say, okay, can I be more resourceful around this? Yeah. How can I work with what I have, okay? And focus on the solution to deliver the results. Yeah. So this simply put is a concept of resourcefulness, okay? Then we can tell some stories around this one also. I love stories, okay? <laughs> we can I'm tell listening. some stories and then we can get some, okay. So, in this story, I have a continent, and this continent has almost everything. Oil, gold, timber, diamond, whatever. People, young, beautiful, nice ones like yourselves. Okay, can we guess which continent this is? Africa. Ah, <laughs> okay. Great. Very straightforward. So, the continent is full of resources. Interestingly, mm -hmm. this continent, on an annual basis, consistently, goes to a much smaller con continent, okay, to which does not have any of the resources we spoke about. And this bigger continent yeah. goes there to borrow money, okay? And there's a story we have between Africa and, let's say, Western Europe. So what is, what is making such a big continent with so much resources broke? Yeah. Okay. What is really the, the, the point here? And we believe that it's a question of resourcefulness. Okay. okay. One of the continent has resources and one is resourceful. Okay, so if we bring it to ourselves as leaders, we want to ask yeah. ourselves, we want to be the leaders with resources or we want to be the leaders who are resourceful? Okay, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a question, that's a question for, for us to answer. Yeah. So I, I really like the big R in the R3G because it plays like practically in life. I don't know of anybody, any project, any program that has all the resources that it needs for it to, okay? I don't even know of any country. Okay, the richest man 
can he buy air and, and, and put it somewhere? Mm -hmm. So resources almost all the time are not enough. Resources almost all the time are not enough. So it is only logical that companies, organizations, institutions would love to work with people who appreciate that real situation because no company has all the resources. Can I get people who appreciate that they can work with what they have and get me the results and not sit in the space of just complaining? So for me, the big R in R3G is like a huge thing in the mindset to say that, yes, as a leader, this, this is all they've given me. This is all I have. I have the option to tell you guys, what you have given me is not enough. So I'm, I'm sorry, we cannot achieve this uh, target or objective. Which, which you'll be right by your own analytical assessment. And there is another person who comes in and say, yeah, how can I work with this one to get the same results that is expected of me? Believe me, this is how we are created or this is how we are as human beings. We, we have no limit of our resourcefulness. It's only to the extent that we push it that we, we get the resourcefulness. So we have it play out every day with our friends, with our colleagues. You hear it all the time. When something doesn't happen, it, it's either somebody or it's something or it's, it's never them. So to that point, yeah. I have another story. Okay. okay, I have another story. So this will be my last story. <laughs> and then, okay, so we all know the story. Uh, if not all, most people know about this story yeah. about that rich merchant mm -hmm. who was traveling to a far off place. So he called his three servants. Okay, and what did he do? To one servant, he gave one talent, or let's say one sack of gold. To the next one, he gave two. And to the third one, he gave four. And he says, okay, you guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of uh, our business, I'm off. I'll see you guys at some later time. So he travels off. After a long time, he comes back. Okay, and calls the servant and says, yeah, now let me see what you guys did with what I gave you. Okay, and what happens? They appear, and the first one says, ah, see, you gave me four. I worked hard with it, and I got an extra four, so here you are. I have eight to report on. The second one said, ah, you gave me two. I put it to work. And see, here I have two more to report on. The last one says, well, okay, you were not very nice to me when you were leaving. I mean, you were giving some people as much as four. And even those who did not get four, they got two. And me, you gave only one. So considering how under-resourced I am and how mean you were in that uh, circumstance, I thought that I would not... Uh, try to offend you by doing any work with what you're giving me in case I lose it. Okay, so I went to hide it somewhere, and now that you're back, I've gone to dig it out. Here's what you gave me. Uh, you gave me one, you have your one back. According to the story that we all know, what happened? Uh, the master got angry. Says, you know what? Take the one that he has. Okay, and actually, give it to the one who has worked very hard to bring me eight. And in fact, this other guy, we throw him in jail. He's useless. He did nothing with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it talks about yeah. the story of resourcefulness again. Yeah. To say if you do <coughs> something good with whatever you have in hand, more would even yeah. be added. And if you choose to complain and not act with what you have, the little you have would even yeah. be taken away from you. Mm -hmm. And I think that moving from the continent, uh, uh, coming to the individual, human, our personal levels, this is another good story of resourcefulness. Yeah. 
doing the best with what you have. Okay. Yeah. Again, for us to reflect it versus okay. the mere F model and the resourcefulness of it. Remember, it just sits in the mindset. It's, it's what you believe in that I can say I don't have enough. Could we all even say we don't have enough or to say this is what I have mm. and I will work with this. Yeah. Thank you very much for following us. Uh, we'll be going on a short break with this video. Stay tuned. Every person in this room who described failure described it for the following reasons. And I gave all the reasons. Time, money, network we don't have, people we don't have, not the right management, not the right people, right? We don't have the resource. And they went through this whole thing. I said, what all these things, not of Supreme Court justices, what they all have in common is, you're all saying we didn't have the resources to succeed. Money is a resource. Time is a resource. Technology is a resource. People is a resource. Experience is a resource. Supreme Court justices are so many resources, right? And they all agreed. I said, here's the only problem. I said, in my experience, and you correct me if you're wrong, and I want an honest answer. When we get out of ourselves and we look at human beings and their ability to succeed or fail, how many people you've ever met who did not have the resources and they beat somebody who had all the resources? I said, resources, when you look at the most powerful and effective people in history, were never the problem. They didn't have the resources, but they got them. How do people get resources when they don't have them? And the answer is, they're resourceful. <laughs> the ultimate resource is resourcefulness. That's what makes someone successful. And here's what's great about resourcefulness. Who has it within them? Who? Who? Every human being. But the question is whether you access it or not.